Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a random map selector. So over here, I've just made uh, three maps. Obviously, it works with uh, two or more maps. Just make sure that uh, in the script, you just uh, have a variable for each map. So, as, so first step is you're going to be making your maps just like this. And then you can name them forest map, desert map, just just name them uh, something map. And then after that, we're going to go and insert a spawn location. And just uh, remove the uh, decal because we don't need it. And then you can make it... Mm, we can make it can collide off and we can make it invisible by transparency one. So now uh, this is where we're going to spawn. So the next step is we're going to move our map uh, right on top of the spawn location. So spawn right there. I uh, guess we can move it a little bit over here. Then what we're going to do is make sure that the center of the map is all uh, the same so in this case since all my maps are the exact same size then I'll just make it even for all of them but for you guys your might your maps might be different color I mean different size so you guys are gonna have to uh, just make sure that the center is there so now what we're gonna do is under lighting we're gonna add a folder just like that and let's name this folder to maps and for the last thing we're gonna put all of your maps under maps just like that so after uh, you put the maps under the maps folder uh, oh yeah, and also just don't mind that. Uh, I was trying to write a selector and it won't work. So it's just a random map picker. Uh, so basically after you do that, now what we're going to do is insert a script into workspace. Just like that. So right there. Script, we can name it to map picker. Now, uh, oh yeah, no spaces, picker, and under the map picker, we can end, add a n number value, the first one we're going to call round, and we can duplicate it, and the second one we're going to call inter mission just like that so the round is um, like how long the uh, maps are gonna stay on so say it's five and the intermission is how long before each map is picked so I'll also just make it five so now you can start scripting so first you can write uh, so first these are gonna be variables so local and then right here round so loco round time loco round time equals to script dot round dot value just like that and then local intermission time equals to script dot intermission and then it's going to be local maps maps folder equals to game dot lighting dot maps dot maps and then local maps 
equals to maps folder colon get children with brackets at the end and then now we're just going to create a variable for each map so local map one uh, map one equals to maps uh, equals to maps folder dot desert map so desert map is my first map over here and then if we just copy that and paste it to how many maps you have and just uh, remember to change the name so my next one is forest map and my last one is winter map and just change this to two and then three so now we're done with the variables we can start actual scripting now so right now if we go to down two lines we're gonna write while true do and now this might look a bit similar to all those other random map pickers um, but I have looked at some of them and the problem with it is that say um, one of my maps say it's got uh, one part say map one's got one part and say this right here is map two and it's got two parts what will happen is it will always select the map with the shorter parts so in this tutorial all I've really done was uh, just make each map have a number and it will choose the number then it will load it in so right here we're going to write local chosen map equals to maps and then square brackets math dot random and then regular brackets one comma hashtag maps so what this means is uh, the chosen map uh, it will choose maps from uh, maps and maps as a variable up here is maps folder children and the maps folder right here is the maps so it will choose a random map from these three so we can go down the line if chosen map equals equals to map one so if it chooses map one then local map one clone equals to map one colon clone so what this means is if uh, it chooses map one then it will clone map one and then we're gonna wait the intermission time so it's gonna wait the intermission time or uh, this value right here so in my case it's five you can change it to whatever you want then it's gonna go then we're gonna write map one clone dot parent uh, equals to game dot workspace because right now the uh, maps are in lighting and it will go to workspace so like say right here if I put the desert map in workspace it's now out if I put it back into lighting it's gone so we'll make it into workspace then we're gonna wait the round time which earlier uh, I set as five you can set it to whatever you want and then we're gonna destroy the cloned map so map one clone and then colon destroy just like that with brackets at the end so now if we copy that and paste it uh, to how many however many times of maps you have so I have three ifs because I have three maps right here 
So if you have six maps, then you would have six ifs. And what you want to do is just change all of the ones to twos. Like all of them. So map two, map two, like all of the map clones to two. So there can't be one missing. And then for your third one, three. And just make sure that the uh, the map three up here will match up with the map three over here. Uh, that is, if, if your variable is different than mine. So map three, map three, just like that. So this should be what your script would look like. And we can close off that. So now if we press play. My computer takes a little time to load. Sorry about that. Come on, load. So like you can see right now, oh yeah, now it's winter map. After five seconds, oh, it chose winter map again. And that, okay, now it chose the desert map. Now, oh, desert map again. Oh, look at that, it's forest map. Yeah, so basically it's like that. And that'll be it for this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, you're still here? Okay. Uh, I might know why there's a little bit problem with some of your uh, scripts. Apparently, I forgot to add a dot value right here. So there should be time right now between the time uh, it uh, it chooses the next map. So yeah, now actually, bye.